You do have the option of drawing shapes in Adobe Flash using the line tool, but I really like to use the shape tool. It allows you to create shapes really quickly. So go ahead and select the shape tool from the toolbox, and you could go ahead and click on the corner, and you have several options here. You have rectangle tool, oval tool, rectangle primitive tool, you have the oval primitive tool, and then the poly star tool. So let's take a look at some of how these work. Go ahead and select the oval tool and you'll see down here we have a couple different options. We have our stroke or our outline option and we could go ahead and change that if we like. We also have the fill. I'm going to go ahead and change that. You have how um, thick you want your stroke to be and what kind of line you want that to be. And then what type of scale you want. You could do um, you, what you want the radius to be, what you want the start angle to be, the end angle to be, so you could go ahead and actually um, set the measurements for your oval. So go ahead and just, you'll get a crosshair on your stage, click and then drag to draw your oval and release, and you're going to get the oval that you have specified. You can hold down your shift key and then it's going to help you create a perfect oval and this works when you're using the rectangle tool. Release it and it's going to create a perfect oval for you. Let's look at some of the other options. Go ahead and go back to our shape tool and the rectangle and the polystar tool work pretty much the same way. Let's look at the oval primitive tool and we have pretty much the same settings. Let's go ahead and draw on here and it's going to give us a couple different options here. It's going to give us where we could change the center of the oval and where we could also change um, the radius or how that reacts. So we could go ahead and we could change these different points and we're actually drawing ovals off of other ovals and we could keep going like this. And there's a lot of different settings that you can use with the oval primitive tool and it's really when you want to get a little more customized than just drawing a simple oval and the rectangle primitive tool works the same way. So you could kind of experiment with those and see how those work. So that's how you use the shape tools in Adobe Flash.